Hey guys, and welcome back to the Hobby Dude 007 channel. Hobby Dude is worn out. I'm ready for a hot shower. Between our two properties, I've been cutting grass, weed eating, spraying. I've been doing a lot today, and I am just ready for it. But when I got home, I got my Salvino kit in the mail, my kit of the month. And there's something unique about this one that I am eager to see and eager to share with you. So let's go take a look. Okay guys, first up, I broke out a bottle of Model Car World Finishes 2011 Vermilion Neon, which is as close as I've ever seen, if not a dead match for the STP Red uh, Vermilion Day Glow, whatever you want to call it that's on the Petty uh, STP cars. And uh, I'll show you why here in just a minute. This month's kit of the month is kind of cool. Um, Let's get this thing open here. And it is different, and I've been excited about this one because I've heard from Lucasy as well as a couple of people that uh, they have they have done something in the molding that uh, is kind of cool. So we're going to see here in just a minute. Ah, check it out, check it out. Now, if you're not familiar with this car, immediately some of you might go, 42 is Kyle Petty. Well, actually, this is Richard Petty's car, uh, as you see there. And this is a Builders Club exclusive, and I'll explain a little bit about that as we go along. This was from the 1981 season, first race of the season. They were running, and I'm sure some of you have already watched some of the, the videos. Let me get this out of the box along with the other goodies here. And uh, I'll explain it to you. Throw that over there. Um, first up, the kit. In 1981, this was the last year, the last race of the big cars before they dropped the wheelbase and went, uh, and Petty Enterprise ended up going for Daytona to the Buick, which, uh, if you recall, Richard won. Well, this car, Richard drove at Riverside, and Kyle drove the 43. And the reason for that was there was a financial benefit uh, as high up as you place, the rest of the season it affected your earnings. So um, that was part of it. It's a complex thing. I'm not going to get all into it. But anyway, Richard drove this car on this, this particular day, only time. And as I mentioned, this is the Builders Club exclusive, which means you will not see this kit in any store. This is only if you are a member of the Builders Club. And what an awesome thing the Builders Club is. Um, if you're not a member, there's a lot of quirks to it. On Tuesday nights, there is a um, Facebook live Facebook meeting. You can ask questions. You're kind of like part of the crew. Um, and it's, it's really cool. It really is. A lot of fun, a lot of laughter. Um, and you get to interact with the owners of the company. Um, we appreciate what they do for us, and um, th they're there for us. So anyway, um, the other thing you get if you're a member of the Builders Club, when you get your kit of the month, you get a little extra pack of decals. Now this month is a set for the uh, Camaro. There's your nose and all your other trimming work. Um, and you've got the Bass Pro. There's your extra decals for the tracker. And check that out. And I know this doesn't reflect well on camera, but the fluorescent colors are all very vivid, very nice. And honestly, so are the metallic colors. I don't know if you can see that finish in there, but these, these things, these power slide decals are great. Um... But how cool is that? Very, huh? <laughs> this is Austin Dillon's car, of course. So we got an extra set of those. And as I recall, oh, yep. This month, every month they usually give us a sticker, which you see I have them. I've got one up there. I, I've got them. Well, there's another one over here on my left, but I'm not going to pull the camera down. <coughs> Excuse me choking some of that grass and dust up um 
but where'd it go? There it is. But this one's a little smaller, and you notice it's backwards. That's because it's a tattoo. It's one of those temporary tattoos, so you can mark yourself up. Never been a tattoo guy myself, but uh, kind of cool, huh? I might have to put that one on just to, just to send a picture in. But I remember as a kid, those little things, you wet them, and then you stick them on, and they soak in, and they wash off and all that stuff. So uh, kind of nifty, but I am eager to get into this kit now. Um, and the reason is the guys, there, there's something to do with the molding where they did the pigments for the color of the body. And if you're familiar with Salvino's, you know that some of these things... They make in petty blue, like a petty car, they do it in petty blue, or they do it in uh, whatever car, in whatever color it is, and then the decals. So if you're one of those that don't like to paint, you can do it in decals. So this car, in that it was a reversed paint scheme for what typically was something the petties ran, and now here's where I get, I'm get i getting excited because I'm eager to see. They've got the pigments. Wow, yes. I don't, I don't, I don't think this is going to go well on camera, but wow. Yeah, I'm looking at the camera. It almost looks orange, but it, this is, wait a minute, where'd my bottle go? I want you to look at that. That is almost an exact match. And of course, this would be a little bit brighter yet if it was over that white, flat white base, but check that out. That is almost exact. Actually, from that angle, it is exact. Well, how about that? And to mold something in that... Wow! Say it backwards with me, guys. Wow! That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. All right. So we know that's a true vermilion. I was eager to see that. Uh, your glass, your and as, like I said, a lot of these guys have already done. Uh, I know Jim and Lucas has already have both already done an opening, so I'm not going to go too too in depth with it. But uh, you've got your parts, um, and you've got the you notice the front ends to do multiple years. There's your parts that are painted or not painted, but molded in metallic colors. Your silvers. Your chrome tree, but I'm eager to see these decals down here too. All right, there's your decal placement. Very nice, and wow. Very vivid uh, petty blue there. This is cool, guys. This is really cool. Uh, check out the gloss on these things, too. Now, for me personally, I would probably still paint the body. Uh, but you don't have to. Check that out, how that would go right on. Well, is that not just cool? Very nice decals, and again, these are power slides, so we know they are going to be top drawer. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So guys, if you are not a member of the Builders Club, you need to get a hold of somebody that is a member of the Builders Club. And you know what? These things may already be gone because they were only doing enough for the club. Uh, I think there were a few leftovers, extra, something like that. But um, uh, in fact... Um, Wow, I just noticed the hood pins and this other stuff here. And lost my train of thought totally. So anyway, um, very, very nice, guys. A great, great job. This is just awesome. And you know, this is one of the cars I have not built yet was the Monte Carlo. And this is one that is on my uh, build list. Not this particular one, but after seeing it, mm, I'd have to rethink that. But very, very nice. All right. Guys, kudos, kudos. Great job. 
And guys, that's about it. I'm not going to, like I said, everybody else has done a box opening on this, so I'm not going to get too in-depth with it. But I did want to share with you um, the color of this thing, which is absolutely, wow, very cool, very cool. Um, I don't know how they, they did that. I guess they just got the pigments right in the, the plastic. But how cool is that? So, okay, guys. All right, I've rambled on enough. All right, all right, all right. Uh, so, thank you, guys. Appreciate you watching, tagging along on this one. This was kind of fun. So, uh, oh, I'm going to put those back in my other decal box. Well, that is it, guys. Richard Petty's 1981 Chevy Monte Carlo molded in Petty Red. How cool is that? And if you didn't know, the Petties are celebrating their 75th year in NASCAR. And how cool is that? All right, guys. Appreciate you very much. Head over to Hobby Nut Models. Check out Mark's inventory over there. Pick you up some of that awesome MCW paint. And uh, God bless, guys. I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Thanks.